My first guest tonight is an author and a journalist who has been on TV for over 30 years. He now co-anchors CNN's new morning show, CNN This Morning. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Don Lemon. <laughs> Don, it's so weird. Like, hi, Stephen. How are you? I'm, I'm doing fine. I'll ask the questions. I know, but it's so weird not having an earpiece in. Like, you know. Oh, that's right. It's that's right. Because weird. when you're on camera, yeah. normally there's somebody in there going, "Why don't you ask him this?" Or the, cut to commercial, yeah. or something like that. Oh, no, shut up! Like you're telling me now. Let you right. ask the question. No, 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 not at all. Did you? Do you? You like that? Because I'm I'm deaf in one ear, and I never like to have anything in this ear because then I can't hear the guests. I like it. I like being able to rely on someone to be my second brain, or you know, some people first brain. Yeah. Sure. Because I can tell you. Yeah, you know, exactly. Tell you stuff. Um, uh, did you have a nice Thanksgiving? I had a great Thanksgiving. Did, did. did you do you cook? Do you do all that good stuff? I do cook, but I didn't this time. Okay. I was just a, Where'd you go? I went to my uh, in-laws, soon-to-be in-laws. Okay. In Long Island. All right. On Long Island, excuse me. You got to say it right, people. Whatever. Right, right, whatever. Long Island. I don't Suffolk know. Suffolk County here. All sure. right. All right. That kind of rousing applause. Sure. So, <laughs> and so I hung out with the uh, soon-to-be in-laws, and we, uh, you know, did a little... Gingerbread making. <laughs> we, we... You just say so straight to Christmas. Your Thanksgiving really is well, just Christmas. Well, we had Christmas. Thanksgiving, and then one day later, my fiance's sister in law flipped the house, and we went back on Saturday. Flipped the house? What does that from mean? From Thanksgiving, all Thanksgiving decoration. And then like we... turkeys and. Turkeys and, you know. What? Just turkeys? Corn? And, yeah, cornucopias. Displaced and all, you know, Indians? Yeah. What, what are we. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What? what oh I'm, I'm just, I mean, it's a dark story if you think about it. What a Thanksgiving. So, yes. All right. So, and then all, everybody then Christmas. dressed like pilgrims. Okay. And then uh, from from Thursday to Saturday, Saturday was all Christmas decorations. So okay. It, it, like two Christmas trees. All right. And... So, is that what this is? Because yeah, I got these two, what looks fairly identical photographs to me. <laughs> what if, is one of these I'm supposed to show first? Which? Well, this one, this one is mine. So, was this a contest? That was a contest, but there was like seven of them. Okay. You pick the two that well, one is mine and one is the winner. This is this that's is mine. you. I mean, that's pretty good, don't well, you? We gave think? you gave away the the story that you did <laughs> not win. That's you. <laughs> that's me. What's the, what's happened on the front right here? Uh, I, that those is bricks. What are those? Those are white chocolate bars that um, Caroline, who okay. is ten years old, put on, and so. Oh, those are Kit Kats. Those are those white are, chocolate yeah, Kit, Kit Kats. Kat. So this is you. Oh, that's you, me. you 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 did this. I did Fine that. effort. I did. And then this is the winner. That's let's the see, winner. Let's see. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, you see? You see? I think you blew I was it. Who in, the, who in their right mind votes for white chocolate? <laughs> you like white chocolate? It's, yeah, I like white chocolate. And I like black chocolate, too. All right, well. So. One of them is dark, actually chocolate. Dark chocolate. <laughs> One of them is actually chocolate. So you, so you lost, and I'm, I'm so sorry. So I'm I lost. so sorry. But it was a great Thanksgiving. Oh, it was cool. great to spend time with family, as you know, and just be, like, it was a warm family Thanksgiving cozy. And I loved it. It was great. I'm very happy for you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, uh, the big story for you right now is the new gig. Yeah. CNN This Morning. Yes. CTM, as we call it. CNN This Morning. You host with Poppy Harlow and Caitlin Collins. Yes. There, I, got, I got the gang you right here. You got a lot of pictures, Stephen. Well, you know, it's a visual medium. There you go. There you are with your, your co-hosts. Um, how do you? <laughs> I feel like I feel I like, like the turtleneck. Thank the you. turtleneck is very Christmassy it's too. A, like, it's very Andy Williams Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> how do you want people to feel in the morning? Because a lot of these shows, I mean, obviously you're a new show, but when the people first get up in the morning, you know, what's the vibe you want to give people? Well, I want people to be warm, turtleneck, and sure. comfortable watching. Okay. Uh, I want them to. Um, actually not know what to expect every single day. Uh, I want them to obviously feel like they can come in and be part of a conversation, almost like a, almost like a coffee shop, right? Almost like a diner. You come in in the morning and you yeah. spend time with people you know in the neighborhood and you get mm -hmm. the news of the day. Some people stay longer than others. Right. Some people come in and, you know, they just get their bagel or whatever in a bag and they go fix Mrs. Jones, you know, plumbing, right? Or, or some people come in, they sit at the counter and they talk to their guy like I'm talking to you and they just get caught up on the day. So mm -hmm. that's how I want people to feel about. Uh, that's a lot of different ways show. for people to feel, man. Well, that's, there's a lot of different that's a people out story. there, right? But how do you feel? But have you used to be on at ten o'clock? Obviously, nighttime guy. People would go to bed with Don Lemon, yeah. and uh, then they'd come over and watch me. And 
But how do, how, how do you feel about the... You've got to be up at like 3 o'clock in the morning. No, now, no, right? no, I'm not up at 3 o'clock in the morning. 4 o'clock in the I'm morning? I'm up at uh, 4, 4, 15, 4.30. Okay. So. And I'm on at 6. All right. Yeah, so I live very close to work on purpose. All right. So. <laughs> they just shoot you into the studio so on a pneumatic like, tube. Shh, in a tube. So like at the, the old bank The teller. transition hasn't been a problem for the, you. The, listen, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Getting up early is, a, is an issue for me because I have not... I've been working the night shift most of my career. Mm-hmm. And so waking up early, the, the waking up in the morning isn't the issue. It's being alert and staying awake. Mm-hmm. But it's great. I mean, it's staying awake at that hour. Now I'm going to watch. I'm very... I, don't, I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't seen the show yet because I do work at night. But uh, I hear very good things. Uh, is that now I'm going to watch to see whether you fall asleep in the middle of a sentence. Oh, it's, not, it's not falling asleep. It's like trying to keep a train of thought and not oh, sure. being grumpy. Sure. Right? From lack of sleep. I mean, mm-hmm. there are some people who are really great morning people, mm-hmm. and they like waking up. Like my mom, every day she she texts me. She says, "Good morning, CNN morning show people, morning show crew. So good to see you." That's lovely. She texted me the day before Thanksgiving and said, "I didn't say good morning because I was cooking my Thanksgiving meal. So it's good." My mom tries to wake us all up in the morning, mm-hmm. but you know, it's I can be a little bit grumpy. I can be a bitch. Interesting. Anybody can relate to that? I'm yeah. sure. Just being honest. I don't know. Uh, so, have you gotten any advice from any of your uh, fellow morning people? Well, uh, the first guest, well, I'll tell you later, was someone who I love very much. Gail. Actually, Gail King, who's often on this show. Sure, sure. I love Gail. CBS Gave me some mornings. advice. CBS Mornings. Gail said... Um, You'll never, this is a direct quote I wish I had my phone. She said, you'll never get used to the hours because they're <laughs> This is according to Gail. That's what she says. Sure. She says, but embrace it because this is one of the best jobs in television because you get to wake up, people get to wake up with you, and that is a privilege. Oh, and so I is. think that's great. That is. Um, Quick question, just a little side note. Yeah. On CNN, on CNN, are you allowed to say Because you can't say it here. It's basic cable. You can say You can say well. Yeah, you can say <laughs> That's worth it game. right there. You can say anything. I've said, I've said much worse on, on CNN. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Brian Gumbel, who's one of my mentors. Oh, that's uh, lovely. Said, he said to me, um, two minutes after you're in the shower, it doesn't matter what time it is, whether it's four in the morning, three in the morning, or, you know, nine o'clock or five o'clock, it's yes. all the same. We have to take a quick break, yep. uh, but don't go nowhere, because we'll be right back with more Don Lemon, everybody. <laughs> Stick around. 